Shoes. Hey guys, welcome back to Shoes. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Yeezy 350 V2 Boost Compact in the slate red colorway. Now this colorway was quite hyped when, when it was kind of teased back in, I think it was late 2021. The main reason was, was because of his red October kind of red colorway vibes and we've only had the Vermillions and these as of the kind of red Adidas Yeezy drop so far. So even though the actual shoe itself the silhouette wasn't that hype uh the slate blue was it or was it yes yeah, the, the blue one didn't do that good in, in, in terms of recent in terms of public reception it just kind of looked like a like a flimsy kind of 350 but apparently it was really comfortable so that's why people dug that aspect of it but um when these joints dropped in the red colorway got people excited just because of the you don't really get a lot of red yeezy you don't really get a lot of that kind of tone Yeezy's um, drop in so it's cool to kind of see that happening so let's just check how it is so you get the um, a kind of squashed up 350 v2 box which is normally like a rectangle I mean like a big ass square but this is kind of like a long elongated kind of square thing it's got the 350 over here it looks very similar to like a 450 box the 450 box is slightly thinner than this but it's about the same kind of dimension and size so you've got 350 over here the usual but now you got knit because it's a knit runner the prime knit's a bit different over here it's yeast 350 v2 combat made by adidas in terms of sizing i'm normally a uk nine and a half or us 10 but recently since um I'd say about 2020, the Yeezys have been fitting even smaller than usual, so I've been going up to a UK 10 or US 10 and a half, um, and so yeah, just, uh, that's what I'm trying to go for because it's a bit too snug, the nine and a half now. But back in the day, it used to fit perfect, but I don't know what they did, if they changed the factors or what happened, but uh, 10 is the way to go now, and you got Yeezy 350 V2 compact made by Adidas. Now this shoe is so compact, they didn't even compacted the actual lettering or the actual name compact, just put it as CM. PCT and at the back we just got the Adidas branding over here the little pyramid thing <clears throat> Let's just take these bad boys out here and apparently these shoes were a little bit limited apparently a lot of people caught L's um, on the Adidas confirmed app and raffle that didn't win any raffles This was uh, through the Adidas confirmed app not the in-store one um, it, I guess it just helps like when you try to buy more stuff from them They kind of give you a better access at stuff even though I've taken L's on like bad bunnies and stuff like that but um one key that i guess adidas drops is just try to get as many shoes as you can um you can even like resell them or whatever just try to get your um account to above like i think there's like an advanced like an icon kind of level so if you get to that i think there's like a slightly better chance of copying shoes so in terms of the inside packaging you got the usual kind of easy uh quite nice packaging it's like this kind of tan colored almost plasticky but at the bottom like rough feeling plastic good quality plastic like usual so let me just take one of these bad boys out to show y'all all right here we have it the Yeezy 350 v2 boost in the slate red colorway now this shoe is like mad polarizing i took the shoe around the crib around the crib to show people and to see if they dug it or not and it was an overwhelmingly overwhelmingly negative response i however seem to got just something about the shoe that i really i don't know what it is but it's something about the shoe that i really really dig maybe it's because we're not used to seeing that red kind of color i, I think this is doing it to adjust i'm trying to get like lighting on it but um i really wasn't a big fan of the red that was on the vermilion i thought it looked quite cheap and i thought it looked too bright this I feel like looks more authentic, more legit to what the Red Octobers kind of look like. Basically, I haven't had, I haven't, I've seen the Red Octobers kind of in like a museum aspect of it, in like a sneaker convention thing, but like I haven't seen them kind of, you know, in my hand. But they, this, this looks more similar to the Nike Air Yeezy Red Octobers than they do to the kind of Vermillion's Red that we came. That was a bit too bright, and it wasn't really the, the quality of that whole shoe was a bit cheap. But the the quality of this feels actually quite premium, and I dig what they kind of done with. Um, the color I, I, this red pops like mad and i feel like the kind of color red this is i feel like this could go with a lot of outfits and you could pop this in the spring summer winter whatever time you want to pop it out and um just the color blocking of it is makes it kind of like a shoe that would not get dirty very fast just because mainly it's just got like a it's got kind of like a red midsole um even though it's like a little bit translucent the classic kind of boost sole that you got going on but um as is dark and as the upper is also a bit darker red with these hints of kind of um, dark green olive kind of uh, patches over here it's very hard to get this dirty and even if you get it dirty it probably wouldn't take 
that much to kind of clean it off with like a rejuvenator or just like some wipes or something like that. So um, in terms of the material, the upper is just this kind of knit, it's completely this knit material. It's a bit thicker at the back, as you can see, it's a bit more stable at the back, but the rest of the material is just literally a very, very um, kind of malleable kind of very flexible prime knit. It's not like the, the prime knit that you get in the, in the 350 V2s, which is kind of like a more sturdy, kind of harder prime knit. This one's kind of literally feels like a mitten and it's just literally, it's just it's just all knitted. There's literally no, nothing hard about it. It's, it's quite flexible in that regard. So I guess it can adapt to any shoe size or form factor per se. Um, now at the beginning when I saw these infinity laces on uh, the 350s and I think a couple other shoes, I did not like them but I think they kind of suit the shoe well because they're kind of going for that compact form factor and I think these kind of laces do adjust. I personally ain't a big fan of laces because I hate doing up laces, I, I'm like dumb when it comes to doing up laces so I like when they're pre-laced and you just slip your shoe inside but um, yeah I, I dig the infinity laces on thing, I think they give them quite like a, a futuristic kind of vibe. I really thought this shoe, like upon release and knowing that the numbers were quite limited, I thought they would kind of, not skyrocket, but kind of go up in value over time. However, it just seems to kind of be stable in the in the resale market. It's only going for about, the thing is the retail price for the shoe was quite high. It was 200 pounds. Normally you get 180 pounds for a 350. So 200 is like 20 pounds more than what you normally pay for a 350 V2. And, and the resale is going for just above 20 pounds. So it's going for like 220, 230, sometimes the 240, 245 range in, in the bigger kind of uh, sizes. And like, I, I was genuinely surprised. I thought this shoe would go for way more. Maybe over time, when more people see it on foot, or when more people kind of see it out and about, or some celeb or someone wears it, they be, they'll be more inclined to kind of push the shoe up because the silhouette itself isn't that height the color is so maybe they'll pump it up a little bit more um yeah in terms of how the the kind of texture goes it's very different to what you get in the 350 v2 350 v2 you kind of get like a stripe going on here supply 350 whatever you but this one kind of gives me it kind of gives like um the 380 vibes you know when they had the upper material had this kind of alien looking vibe you just kind of go for like different kind of patches this guy it kind of looks like um Low, not, not gonna lie, these shoes are low-key giving Freddy Krueger vibes because this green or this uh, green color over here is very similar, similar, and this red is very similar to the kind of um, green and red that Freddy Krueger has on his sweater. So these could be the Krueger 350s if you think about it like that. No, no I haven't seen anyone call it that, but on, no, no cap, this legit looks like Freddy Krueger sweater, but on, in, a sh in a shoe form factor. So like, um, I, don't, I, I think these are quite nice. I, I, at the beginning when I saw pictures of these, just because the silhouette looked a bit clapped in my opinion when I first saw pictures, I, did, I wasn't a big fan of it, but um, I had to try and cop these just to see what they looked like in person and luckily, you know, thank God they would get them and honestly, these, these joints are quite, I like, the more you see them, the more I kind of like them more and more. I just, it's, I'm just trying to see like what outfits would kind of go with this thing, you know, whether you could wear shorts with this or like tracksuits, jeans and stuff like that. I think jeans would be a bit sticky, but you could probably definitely rock some tracksuits with this. So and basically, okay, let me just talk about the rest of the shoe. So again, we were talking about the kind of alien looking pattern. You just got these kind of wild ass like patches over here, no kind of shape or symmetry, just kind of um, all the way around, wrapped around the front of the shoe in these kind of different kind of almost like leopard kind of patches over not even leopard because leopards are a bit more circular but just got kind of these whole patches like something's kind of like you put acid on it, it's kind of like ripping apart at the back the kind of uh, pattern changes and you just got this kind of nice like, kind of ribbed back i think it's just for more structural support this one is a bit more firm compared to the front the front one's a bit more kind of e you're able to kind of fit your toe not fit your feet through it so at the back is a bit more sturdy i guess just to keep your foot in place and all that good stuff um, again, of course, infinity laces with the red lace lits and stuff like that. So that's all nice. That's all good. I don't know if anyone would want to replace these laces. I think these kind of go well with it. Maybe you could go with like the olive green laces, but I think the red kind of gives it a nice kind of um, nice kind of vibe, nice kind of look. Again, usual kind of rubber midsole you get with the 350. It's a, it's kind of like trans uh, transparent, so you can see the three, you can see the boost inside. And uh, you can see the, the kind of shape of it is a little bit different to the 350. It kind of goes like this, kind of like a little, little bit of weight. So maybe that gives you added um, kind of comfort. So you can see the, the boost kind of increases as you go to the back of the wave. And of course at the bottom, you got the, the classic, literally like every 350 looks like this. So from the bottom, you just looks like every regular old 350. It even has the boost over here and the usual kind of boost stuff here. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm torn, yo. I don't know if I want to keep these. Or they're, they're really nice, but like 200 pounds for like a 350. 
it's, it's hard to justify that, but like, I'm gonna see if I can like sell some shoes and keep this bad boy. But um, yeah, you get um, one way to authenticate these shoes is, of course, these Yeezys got this kind of um, ropey, uh, ropey kind of thing to go around and rope, um, rope. Rope? Yeah, it's got this, they got the rope instead of a plastic to kind of hold these tags together. You've got this, um, the usual kind of 350v2 compact, and of course you've got this sustainability um, thing. Oh, this is made with completely recycled materials. So normally on the inside you get, um, what you call it, the Globe logo, but over here you just have the Yeezy and you've got the Adidas thing, but you don't have the Globe one. But despite not having the Globe logo, which symbolizes recycled material, these Rest assured, are made from recycled materials, so you know you're saving the planet by using these shoes, even though you're paying hella more than you would normally, but uh, either way, you're doing something for the planet, which is always good. So yeah, let me know what you... S sorry, someone entered the room. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. I think out of 10, I like these. I'd give these a solid... Oh, this is hard. This is such a nice shoe. Do you get me? Like, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice shoe. It's a nice shoe, but it's just like we've seen 350s and like I, I, I haven't been buying 350s for like a long time, but like we know what they look like, but it's just a little bit different. It's just the color is nice and I, it's solid 8.5 out of 10. This shoe is a solid 8.5 out of 10. Apparently, I haven't tried these on yet because I'm still torn between keeping them or, or giving them away. Um, comfort is meant to be really good. Solid shoe. Solid colorway, eight and a half out of ten. Let me know what you, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you rate it? Do you hate it? What are your thoughts? Or let me know in the comments below. I do my best to respond to any queries or questions y'all might have. So I hope you guys have a beautiful, fantastic, lovely day, and I catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All right, update on the 350 V2 Compact. Okay, so I know at the beginning I was like, I'm not sure if I should wear these or keep these or return these or whatever. But I tried these bad boys on. I think you guys just saw the on foot, and these are so comfy. These are so comfort table like literally it's like someone's just it, it felt it literally felt it felt so nice to put these on my feet it literally it felt so nice so i'm like i might keep these i might take the l and may not eat for a couple of weeks but like um yeah this this is honestly like a sick shoe it's so comfortable it looks banging like um I, it showed to one more member of the crib they seem to approve it and so yeah i, I think i might keep these bad boys we'll see that's why i haven't taken the tag off yet but uber uber comfortable if you guys were wondering about the comfortableness i definitely think that as more people kind of wear these and as more people see more pictures and videos of this as time progresses i think people will dig these more and more so if i would recommend if you can get these for maybe 10 pound or even 20 pound above retail get it now because the price will probably go up over time it's a red easy shoe we never know when we're going to get another red easy shoe or what's going to happen with all that stuff so yeah it's a good shoe uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'll bump the rating up to a 9 out of 10. So yeah, 9 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. If you're ready or here, whatever your thoughts are, let me know. And hope you all have a beautiful, fantastic day again. Peace.